What is up, guys? Everybody, there to you. We're back with some more of the purest mod. Hopefully, we're gonna wrap wrap up this mod in this recording session. As last time, we went on a date with Monica. I, I guess it was a date, but it wasn't really like officially like a date, but I think it was. And now we have to write a song instead of writing a poem. So, <clears throat> so yeah. Let's get this, let's try and see if we can get this done. I arrive at the club <coughs> a little more tired than usual. I might cough a little, a little bit, too. It's been a fucked up weather up here. Probably because of how late I was, I was out last night. Uh, hello? <laughs> After before burp, I say hello. That's how I would like to greet my people. I lazily greet whoever is inside as I slide the door open. The person who greets me is probably Sayori. Oh, I actually have to choose. Monica's not an option, so Sayori it is. <laughs> Hi, Mikey. <coughs> Place is gonna get fucked up. <clears throat> Hearing Sayori's voice, I raise a hand and wave. Eh, <laughs> you look tired. I was up late. Couldn't get to sleep in class either. <laughs> I'm probably going to take a nap. I look around the room and find no one else is here yet. Oh. So they gave us, so they gave us like an option just for that person to be the only ones here? Huh, that's pretty strange. No one's here. Mm hmm They're all running kind of late. <clears throat> I walk over to a seat next to the wall and put my things down, taking, taking said seat. Uh, I don't think that's English. Taking said seat. <laughs> you must be really tired. Yeah. I fold my arms for a makeshift pillow. And put my head down in it, <clears throat> closing my eyes and letting letting rest overtake me, or at least try. It's difficult since I can feel Sayori sharing the desk with me as a pillow space. Really, um, Sayori? Hmm. Why are you on the same desk? <clears throat> well, we haven't gotten to spend much time together, so I thought that if. You were going to take a nap, I would too. Aw, she's so sweet. I don't know how to respond to that, so I decide to let it happen without further resistance. It's not like I am actually bothered by it. <laughs> Alright, well, good night for a bit. <laughs> good night. With that, I decide to close my eyes and try to go to sleep. When I wake up, I take a look <clears throat> at the clock and see that ten minutes have gone by. Huh. I take a look around the room, finding the other slipped in. I start poking Sayori on the shoulder. Wake up. Sayori, wake up. Everyone's here now. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, did we disturb you? No. Not really. We were just waiting for everyone to show up anyway. Hmm? Sayori perks up, rubbing her eyes. <laughs> that was a good nap. <laughs> oh! Monica, hi! <clears throat> Sayori gives a smile to our club president as she stands up. It's fine. Anyway, we can begin club activities. Part of me is surprised to hear that sounded... To hear what sounded like a stammer coming from Monica as she usually has to sew together. Hmm. Uh, well... If you weren't done with your song anyway, uh, unless we'd all like to do something else to take a brief break from songwriting. How about we write some poems? No! <laughs> no one seems to have any ideas for something we could do instead, so we end up lounging around. I have a cough drop in my mouth, that's why. I don't know if people see that. I try to keep working on my song. Sayori pulls up a desk so we can sit next to each other as she works on hers. 
The day quietly goes by, the sounds of pencils scribbling on paper and the occasional grumble of frustration at words not going together breaking the silence. All in all, it's a fairly calm day. That's awesome. Hey, Mikey? Hmm? What is it, Sayori? Could you look over what I have? I want a second opinion on it. Alright. Sayori slides me a single sheet of paper. Uh, well, it's actually only the second verse, but I'm having some trouble with it. I see. Well, I give it a quick read through. <clears throat> read through trying to imagine how it would be sung here the third line I think there's too many syllables it doesn't flow as nicely is there anything else hmm I don't know if it's intentional but you use the word sun a lot in this verse alone I mean if there's no other way to do it I guess it's fine, but it kind of stands out. Heh, <laughs> you're really helpful, Mikey. Are you sure you didn't write songs before either? Nope. I don't even know what he's talking about most of the time. <laughs> Your poems were pretty good. <clears throat> well, I did used to watch a lot of anime, so they had fun openings. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Thanks for helping, Mikey. No problem, Sayori. After that, Sayori goes across the room, sitting down at a desk and continuing her work from there. Or, at least, that that's what I assume she's doing. <clears throat> the silence of the room from before, when Sayori came over, returns. I take another look at my song. I still have to do the second verse. Maybe writing in here would be a bad idea. It is kind of embarrassing to think about it. Writing about how I found friends here. Then again, I'm going to have to share it anyways, so they're... All going to see it in the end. The time goes by quickly. My worries about the others seeing what I wrote down so far seems to have been off the mark since everyone is kind of secretive, keeping it keep it themselves. I guess even if we have shared poems with each other, a song is kind of a step a step up. I was gonna say step forward for a minute. We might be fine showing one or two poems to each other, but there's but there's things that, like the genre of the song, that differ from a poem. Oh, hey, Monica. <laughs> okay, everyone! I think that's all for today. <clears throat> it's about time to go home as well. Did everyone get some work done? Yes. I did. I guess I got some progress done. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's good to hear. Oh, right. I wanted to make an announcement. Everyone glances at each other, wondering what it could be. Oh, God. Please don't tell me there's going to be, like, another festival. Like, it, it one literally just happened, and all of a sudden we're going to have to sing our songs in front of people. Please don't. <laughs> Recently, I was made aware <clears throat> of a nice viewing spot in the city. It was really good for writing. It gave me a lot of ins inspiration. Oh, the one that we took her. The one that we took her in the last episode. I want to ask if you'd all be interested in going not this going not this weekend, but next weekend. You don't necessarily have to use it to write for, for the song, but I found it helped. And seeing as we're in the literature club, it might be a good thing to go all together. Is anyone interested? Me! Sayori <laughs> so immediately raises her hand. Wait. <laughs> I literally raised my hand too, just... <laughs> Waving it around, her eyes sparkling. Okay, that's one. Anyone else? Uh, well, I suppose it might be nice to go. Not this weekend, but the following weekend, yes? Yes, oh. But if you have something else, we can push it back to a later date. There's no rush. No, I only wanted to confirm that. I'd be happy to go. Yeah, same. It sounds like it could be fun. Should I bring some food along? Cupcakes, please! Frickin' Sayori. <laughs> okay. 
Atsuki smiles, clearly having intended to bring them anyway. What about you, Mikey? Mm, oh yeah, I should be fine to go. Monica flashes a knowing smile at me before nodding. Alright, it's settled then. That time should <clears throat> that time should work for everyone, right? We all get murmurs of agreement with Monica nodding. I still never heard of murmurs before, so so this is weird to me. Well, that's everything I have for today. Make sure to keep your calendars clear. I wave goodbye to Monica as I leave the club room with Sayori. Not a lot of interactions with Monica, like, the at least the last two days. We talk about our progress on our songs along with how, how school is going on the way home. Sayori is a bit surprised Monica found a place like that and wonders if she went hunting for it. about that. <clears throat> I mean, she does seem like the kind of person who do that. She really does care for the club. Hey. <laughs> well, we all kind of do, right? Mm-hmm. But Monica seems like the kind of person who wants the, wants the club to be a place where we can be happy. <sighs> she must have spent the weekend looking for it. God damn it. Conveniently, that was the weekend where we went out with her on that place. I hope that my facial expressions don't have don't give anything away, but both Mo bleh, both about Monica, the happiness she's looking for, or the fact that I was the one who brought her there. Yep. Mikey? Oh, sorry. I quickly think of a, anything to say that won't give it away. Monica is pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, she is. You two were in the same class last year, right? Yeah, we were. She was kind of untouchable. I think the, I think the me from a year ago wouldn't believe that we'd be in the same club. Let anyone, let alone that I talk to her on a regular basis. I'm glad you're friends, though. I nod as we end the conversation there. Sayori and I get home. Without anything else popping up. We say our goodbyes before entering our houses. All in all, it was a fairly normal day today. It was pretty regular, too. Still, though, hearing Monica stutter for the first time, I wonder why that was. Hmm. I wonder. Okay, anyway. Oh, I hit H. <laughs> Even when she kind of lost, when she's, when she seems kind of lost, she always manages to hold it all together. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to see if, if it happens again. It's probably nothing. Maybe it didn't, didn't even really happen, and that I was only thought I heard it. Nope, she did, I think. The rest of the day goes by, and soon I'm off to bed. But the thoughts of what Monica might be going through keep put keep me up from for ah for some time fuck the next day i go to club as usual hello i call out as i open the door finding well that's the always not an option what is it that we're trying to do what's what is it that's about to be happening here is she gonna, is it gonna be that, like, she sees us with all these other girls, she's gonna, like, I guess be a little jealous about it, maybe confront us about it, I don't know, some shit like that. Uh, I guess not Suki? It, it seems like it won't matter either way. He. Or he. <laughs> oh, hi, Mikey. My attention is grabbed by Natsuki, who turned her head away the instant Sayori called out to me. Um, did I walk in on a bad time? Hmm. <laughs> Natsuki's reaction seems to make Sayori giggle, causing Natsuki to even to get even more annoyed. Uh, I could leave if you want. I I could just go right back out the door. I'll just uh be on my way. It's not that Mikey Ah! <laughs> what the hell? 
Natsuki lets out a yelp as Sayori goes behind her and then wraps her arms around Natsuki. She's just embarrassed is all. Come on, Natsuki. Sh sh shut up. <laughs> I go to my usual desk and put my things down. What's going on? And... Ing... Rel... <laughs> what? <laughs> How am I supposed to say that? <laughs> Mikey won't be able to hear you, you know. I just... I just wanted to know... Know what? Just be quiet. Natsuki takes another breath. I... I wanted to know if you saw Park Bank Girls this past weekend. That's it. You made it seem like it was a big deal, Natsuki. Like, why did you make that seem like it was a big deal? Just anyway. <laughs> Sayori said you used to watch a lot of anime, and you seemed to know about songs. So I wanted to know if you watched if you watched it. What you thought about the what you thought about the opening. Our fake girls. It was good. I think the animation was fine and pretty smooth. The music itself was pretty catchy. I'll probably have to pre well, <laughs> I was gonna say pre record. <laughs> pre order the full single. Next week's show show should have the ending theme, right? They did close out this episode with the opening. Yeah. Hopefully hopefully it'll be just as good. Were you planning on using it for your song? What? No. Maybe. Okay, yes. <laughs> oh, my bad. I didn't I didn't word that very well. No. I got what you meant, dummy. Well, if it fits if it fits what I want the song to be about, I might use it for inspiration. <laughs> Natsuki's so cute when she's honest. Shut up, Sayori. <laughs> but it's true. Don't you think so, Mikey? Uh. mind filled question oh I actually have to <laughs> uh, what's even the right thing to even say here Natsuki doesn't like being called cute even though she kind of is at times uh, Come on, tell us! Sayori. Before I can open my mouth, Sayori pushes Natsuki forward. Probably a little harder than she had to. I gotcha. Oh, you such a bitch, Sayori. <laughs> I managed to catch Natsuki before she could stumble over into me and into the desk. Sorry about that. <coughs> I, I'll forgive you this time. <laughs> Sayori's being such a brat! <laughs> <laughs> don't think I haven't... Oh. Don't think I haven't forgot about you. Oh no, Natsuki's mad! <laughs> Sayori only laughs at Natsuki as Natsuki pouts more. It's quite lively here. Um... I quickly step away from Natsuki letting go of her. Sayori shoved me. <clears throat> Sayori, please don't push any everyone around. 
<laughs> Sorry. I'll stick to hunting from now on. <laughs> right. Monica's not happy about it at all. Monica then pauses before putting on a smile. But it seemed quite energetic in here. What was going on? We were just talking about Park Fate Girls. I quickly shoved my comment in before Sayori could say anything. <clears throat> it aired this weekend, so Natsuki and I were talking about how we thought the first episode went. Sayori thought to play thought to play with Natsuki and ended up pushing her a little harder than anticipated. I see. Well, make sure to be careful. Mm -hmm. Yuri in the background. Oh, hi, Yuri. <laughs> Sorry for being late. Someone asked me to take up, <clears throat> to take over their cleanup duties today. What are we, what are we, being careful of? Things like playing around in here. <laughs> yeah, we're looking at you, Sayori. <laughs> As I was saying, since we sometimes have tea in here, it probably would be best to keep calm and not play around. Yes, having hot tea spill around wouldn't be for the best. Don't worry, I'll behave. Sayori gives me a knowing smile as if, <coughs> as if to say we're not finished yet. Anyway, I guess today is the same as yesterday. If you want help... Then we're here for you. But other than that, you're free to do what you want. Everyone seems fine with this and goes about their normal business. Well, I'm glad I grabbed some manga this morning. I start reading the first of the uh, the first of the volumes I brought with me. Hey, I look up, finding that sticky standing up next to my desk. Did you need something? No, just. I thought we could talk about Park Fate Girls. Again? <laughs> I noticed Natsuki has volume 1 and 2 in her hands. Oh, I guess the manga version then. <laughs> uh, right. Those are the ones that got... That got adapted this last weekend. Well, I think they did okay. My only concern is that they'll rush through the first few volumes since the beginning isn't exactly the strongest. Yeah, it is a little... It's a little generic at the start. But hopefully they'll find ways to make it make it exciting or gather attention since the beginning might be generic, but it lays out all the groundwork. Mm hmm Well, hey. If you aren't doing anything this weekend, hmm? we could maybe watch the episode. Okay then. It'd be it'd be nice to watch it with someone who read who read the manga at least. <laughs> Shut up, Sayori! <laughs> Sayori gets a, he gets a pretty harsh look from Natsuki, but it only makes her laugh more. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just talk about it next week. Alright. Uh-oh, Monica's not looking happy. I noticed out of the corner of my eye that Monica was watching, was watching us. Her eyes starting back to the paper in front of her as the conversation ends. The rest of the day goes off without much incident, though Natsuki seems to avoid talking to me afterwards. Maybe I should have taken her invitation. Either way, eventually we all have to leave. <sighs> Alright. Sayori, wait up. Alright. Um. I turn around. Monica? It. Oh, uh, you, um. Dropped your pen. Let me get that for you. Being a little weird. I'm fairly sure the pen Monica hands to me isn't mine, but I take it regardless. Maybe. Maybe part of my words got through to her? Monica. Anyway, you shouldn't keep Sayori waiting. See you tomorrow, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> See you later, Monica. With that, I leave. I leave with Sayori, heading back home. 
I endure her teasing the whole way home, mainly about Monica. Not Natsuki, but it's about Monica. Still, I can't help having my mind be on her. It seems that I'm breaking through to her, however slow it is. Maybe I should wait for her to think some more. <clears throat> that thought keeps me up this keeps me up this night too, so I end up not sleeping well. Ah, oh, great. The next day arrives, so I drudge out of bed and head to school. Where are we supposed to walk with, uh, Sayori, though? Thought maybe there would have been at least some dialogue being like, You look really tired, or something like that. The day goes, be, the day goes by fairly quickly. Though that might be because I wasn't paying attention for most of it. It's already time for a club. I didn't sleep that well, so I feel th a bit tired still. Maybe I should stop thinking so much about Monica. She's lately been everything I've been thinking about. Other people might call it love, but it's but it's definitely something different. But hopefully I don't doze off at the club today. Good afternoon! I call out when I enter the club room, finding uh, the last one, Yuri. I wonder what's going to happen after this. Since everybody that we've been choosing, it seems to just, like, make Monica look a little jealous or something, or worried, I don't know. So, I'm kind of curious on what's about to happen. Good afternoon, Mikey. Oh, hey, Yuri. It seems I got here a little earlier than the others. Yeah, finally you did. You were late the last two days. <laughs> yeah, well, they'll show up soon enough, right? They should. I nod going over to my usual seat and sitting down. Yalo? What? Yalo? How do you say that? Yalo? Sarah, you're so fucking silly. <laughs> Is that supposed to be some new trendy greeting or something? <laughs> Hello, Sayori. Hi, both of you. Come on, you two, hurry up. Jeez, something's energetic. Or someone's energetic. Something's energetic. What the fuck? Shortly after Sayori enters the room, Monica and Natsuki come in as well, saying their hellos. Are we doing anything special today? Nope, it's the same deal as usual. Maybe we should plan for something, though. It's been a while since we did anything as a club. That's true. <clears throat> well, maybe next week. I think it's fine that... Fine like this for now. <laughs> maybe we could take a break from writing songs and try writing a poem again. That's true. Well, maybe... Maybe we should do that next week. I'm still in the mood for songs. Mm hmm After all, it's only been about a week or so. Let's try to let's try to keep the songwriting for a little longer before switching gears. Okay then. Is that fine with everyone? I don't see a problem with it. Neither do I. I'm fine with that too. Alright, it's settled then. We'll wait until next week to try something new. But until then, I guess we'll just go as we have been, have been for this week. Uh. Excuse me, I had a fur for a minute. Make sure to let anyone know if you want help with your song. <clears throat> with that, everyone goes back to their activities. The time begins to crawl by as I read a book I grabbed from my shelf this morning. <laughs> Probably should <laughs> probably should have read the description. Where did I even get this book again? Probably bought it on a sale. It's hard to read too. Oh, the portrait of Markov, because apparently he had that at the beginning of uh, Monica's route. <clears throat> I'm brought out of my thoughts by the sound of glass clinking or clinking in front of me. Hmm. You look like you could use some tea. Oh, thanks, Yuri. 
Is that a hard book? I guess. Maybe I'm not smart enough to understand it. I hear some more glass being put down, seeing that Yuri put another glass down before she pulls a chair over. She just got really low. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Uh, all right. Don, you... Don, why... Don, why the sudden interest? You brought a new book in today, so I was curious about it is all. I seem to have put Yuri on the defensive. Oh, that's nice of you, but I am struggling to get through it. Can I see the book? Sure. I close the book and turn it over to Yuri, who looks at the cover and then, then the first few pages. Her eyes seem to light up as she looks through the pages. Um, Yuri? Oh, sorry. I can see why you might have difficulty with it, though. It's definitely not an easy read. But if you reread several pages, you should be able to get it. Okay. <laughs> you could have... You could also try something easier as well. While it's good to push yourself, if you push yourself too much, you'll only end up making no progress and getting frustrated about it. That's true. Hmm. Mikey, did you ever finish reading Portrait of Markov? There we go. <laughs> I don't know what's in that book, but <laughs> it's been brought up a lot in this game. I did. It was it was an interesting read. Thanks for the warnings about the horror, though. Mm, okay. Yuri gets up from her seat. Excuse me for a minute. I watch Yuri go over to her bag and fish something out of it, quickly turning away when she turns around to come back. Here. I receive a book from from Yuri titled Shadow of the Meadow. This one is a lower difficulty. Since you read since you've read the book the book Portrait of Markov, it's about, it's about the same difficulty. It's not slightly easier. If not slightly easier. Ah, I see. I guess I could give it a shot. Aren't you reading it though? I actually finished it today, so you could borrow it. Thanks, Jerry. I guess you could borrow the, that book as well. Thank you, Mikey. I start reading the book Yuri gave to me, finding it much, much easier to read. Oh, let me... Let me know if there's anything confusing. I should be able to clarify things. Alright, thanks again, Yuri. Okay. The time goes by quickly, much faster than normal. The two of us quietly read together, occasionally breaking the silence... When I asked Yuri about something that happened. Uh, I had a burp in the middle of it too. Making sure I understood it properly. You're pretty good at reading though. Well I guess I read visual novels all the time. It's like books in a weird way. I see. I'm not very familiar with that medium. It can be kind of hard to get into. Would you happen to know anything? Know any good... Beginner ones. Uh, I'll have to think about that one. <clears throat> Sorry. It's fine. <coughs> It'd be hard for me to suggest a good beginner for, for thriller books, so I understand. I'll try to think of one of you, for you, though. Thank you. Yuri smiles at me. I give a small smile back before we go back to our books. And then we pay at Monica! Not yet. With that, the time passes by quickly, and soon enough it's time to head home. And then we pan at Monica! I guess not. Ah, Sayori, wait up! I get up from my seat and start walking after her as club ends, with Yuri and Natsuki having already left. But I feel some resistance from my left arm. Looking over, I see... Monica! Monica? Why? What is... I don't know if you guys could hear the background music, though. Or, it's kind of sounds like... It's kind of not even the music. It's like a background sound. It's just some sound. What's about to happen? 
Uh, Sayori, just go on ahead without me. I'll catch up in a bit. I hear some giggling from beyond the door before some footsteps of likely Sayori walking away echo away. Monica? You had so much fun with them over the past few days. They're so happy. Their smiles look like they'll never fade. Why? Why is it that you're so happy with them? Uh... Because... I'm a good person, I guess. <clears throat> Why does it hurt so much? Because you don't let me... You don't let me help you be happy. <laughs> it should it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter at all. But why does it hurt so why does it hurt? No, rather I feel a warmth from behind me. Two arms snaking around my chest. Why did that happiness have to leave me? I had it. It was a place we could have been happy, but you're trying to make me happy, I know that. It's why you've done this, right? I can't bring myself to answer. <clears throat> Part of me feels like it isn't exactly my place to answer just to answer just yet. But I realize that I've been victorious. It took a little while longer than intended, is all. Okay, I just got some notification on my computer or something. Monica's let down, Monica's let down her club president facade, even in the school. You haven't denied it's my route either. So why couldn't we just, why couldn't we have just stayed in the classroom? Why did you have to tear down that happiness we had together? Cause you weren't letting me make you happy, you fucking bitch. Don't put that on me! <clears throat> no what? What did that say? It said like, no SAR something? I didn't get to, I didn't see it. Warning, direct action may have in unintended consequences. This is a place where happiness can be found. No sacrifices have to be made. Okay. So that's it, isn't it? You wanted an ending where everyone could be happy? No wonder you couldn't be happy in that place. You really do believe that this is a place... This is a place happiness can be found, don't you? I don't see why not. I heard those words that I said again. <clears throat> Frankly, I have no idea what Monica is talking about, but... I can at least put together a few things. There was a place where Monica was happy. But many sacrifices had to be made. Perhaps it was even our club members. No, rather it had to have been the club that was sacrificed. But no sacrifices had to be made. An ending where everyone could be happy. If I think about it a little, then it, became, then it becomes evident. Somewhere along the line... Other members of the literature club had to be sacrificed in some way so that she could have yet have her happiness. I don't know how it happened or why it happened, but that first part, that there can be happiness found here. Maybe in the end, she thought it was happiness, but part of her didn't. Even if she was happy, for the most part, anyone would would regret having to lose people close to them for their supposed happy ending. And somewhere along the way, Monica began to believe that there couldn't be happiness here in the literature club. But I really do believe that there can be happiness found here. <clears throat> Monica, I don't know what words I could say to you that will get you to believe me. I take her hands in mine. They're rather soft and smooth. She must, she must take good care of them. Stop talking about her fucking hand. We're getting to an emotional moment here. Slowly I break out of her embrace, removing her hands from locking me in, and go over to my bag. I fish around for a pit, for a bit, a bit, for a bit before pulling out a piece of paper from my backpack. 
Monica looks at me with a curious look in her eyes as I unfold the piece of paper and hand it to her. This is the the song you asked me asked us to write. I'm sharing sharing it with you a little earlier than we were supposed to, and it's not even finished. But I don't think I can say anything more than that's been written here. Go, my song, and may the words I've written find their way into the into her heart. I gingerly hold out the paper to Monica who slowly reaches out and takes takes it into her hand. The next few moments are silent, save for the wrinkling of paper as Monica reads through the lyrics of my song that I have so far. Can we see it? I want to know what he said or what it says. What What's in the song? What's the lyrics? I hope we actually get to hear it at some point. I want to know what it is. I look away when Monica glances at my direction, feeling some heat on my cheeks. <clears throat> uh, some of those lyrics are so embarrassing that if anyone else were to read them, I'd want to curl up and cry. I want to know what the fuck it is. I can't believe I actually wrote them down. Thank goodness I never wrote my name on it. <laughs> Even after ten minutes pass by, Monica doesn't say a thing. It shouldn't take more than five minutes to read the entire thing, but I don't want to break the silence. After an additional five tense minutes, Monica quietly extends the poem back to me. I take it from her and put it back into back into my bag in silence. Um I That's what you really think, huh? Yeah. I... Monica suddenly speaks up but trails off, unable to finish her sentence. I... Excuse me. Quickly grabbing her things, Monica exits the room without another word. I think about following her, but... Right now, I think Monica needs some space and a bit of time to think about what she read. I want to know what it's... what the song is like what the lyrics are otherwise i can't get it i didn't think it was that strong but maybe the emotions i put into the <coughs> i put into it got through to her because every word i put down in there i truly truly believe it i just don't know what it is i can't understand i, I don't know if i can understand it if i don't know it Monica. Well, I guess I need to clean the room up. Normally, Monica takes care of this, but seeing what happened here today, I don't think she's in any state for that. <laughs> There's a siren down the block or something. I walk around the room, fixing the desk, pushing in the chairs, and make sure the clock... <clears throat> the closet in the back of the room is closed. 